Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well, I've forgotten who I was reading for just that. Um, yeah, so this is your general your general love reading for uh, July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. I do apologize for the voice. <clears throat> but we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course... Uh, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp. In okay, case so this section is really for those that just just kind of prefer to see me shuffle the camera. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that. And that will bring you to the uh, start. Okay. <laughs> so it's way it? Okay, so I'm just gonna clarify these off camera and take these in. Don't read reversal. Uh, but I'll be back. All right, so Leah, let's start your reading. And of course, uh, take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick it up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side that kind of resonates the most. All right, so I'm going to start by saying, you know, just kind of the outcome of this reading brings you to a place of uh, growth. And I feel like that might even be a pleasant surprise to you um, so let me explain what's going on. Uh, okay, so this is someone that you've been dealing with. There's someone that you've been spending time with, possibly. I'm not sure. It's not, for some of you, it's a, yes, it's a relationship. But for some of you, it's a kind of situationship, borderline relationship type of thing. Um, but it seems like you definitely want to move this forward at one point. We're looking at the past now. So you definitely wanted to move this forward, especially with the six there. But I feel like that queen, because the queen is a very sharp, uh, controlling, very blunt, to the point, frosty type of energy. So I feel like maybe that's representing the fact that you've had enough. It's like enough's enough. I'm ready to move this forward. Um, and I'm not taking your nonsense. We're not, we're not gonna, I'm not going to hear anything that you have to say. We're, we're moving this forward. Um, and they're kind of, See, the difference is, is their mindset was the, and again, this is the past, their mindset was that night. Night is a very unstable, yes, a lot of passion, a lot of desire, but it's just unstable. It's not a stable energy. So there is this recognition for them that there is a choice that they need to make with the two of coins, but there is still this young, um, when the fall, it, it, the fall is more about embarking on a new journey is the beginning is taking that risk is going on a new journey but not knowing the full picture or not knowing what it entails there's a naivete uh to to the full and that's kind of representing this person or how they were it's like this not mature way of digesting this um very unstable a lot of passion on desire like i said but just very unstable there's an element of them needing to pull on it in the strength it's like because the pressure, the pressure was on. Uh, because you want to build something. You want to create something. So let's get this going. Let's, you know, get this moving. What's the hold up with that type of thing? Them recognizing that there needs to be some form of change. But there's something that they're not ready to face. Uh, with the shadow card there. Something that they're not ready to face. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. For you, you're basking in the idea. And I'm going to try and be as gentle as possible because I'm an Aries and sometimes that Aries fire comes out. It's very blunt. We say what we think until we kind of, you know, get to a point where we're able to, you know, hold the thought before we speak. But we still have the essence of just being straight shooter. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you're showing up as a basking in what you feel you have. And I say what you feel you have because it's not, 
it's what you want ultimately Aquarius it's like this is what I want you say you want it too yes someone can say they want something but if their actions are not displaying what it is that their words are are saying and, and meaning if it's not aligning then you know you, you got to look at the actions of the person it seems like and you know their actions is and have been unstable unstable but you're kind of ignoring that it's like is because they're still proceeding or acting like they're proceeding forward you know so you're feeling good about this you're indulging in this um you know there is there's a, a bit of confusion for you around whether this person has cut someone loose or stopped speaking to people or not i don't want to say date but yeah for some of you it is date and your focus is really just kind of on you know, getting this to where you feel it needs to be. Star Card talks about healing, fixing, supporting, feeding something. Ace of Coins talks about, you know, an opportunity to create something, to build on something. Yes, we do have the 10 there, which talks about an ending. Um, feeling like the, you know, the chapter has ended. We're now kind of starting this fresh new beginning. But like I said, you're kind of basking in what you feel this is. Because your person... They, they're showing up as the temperance. But within this deck, I always interpret the temperance as it needing back something needing to be brought into alignment. This person is out of alignment. They're not in alignment with what you want, what they say they want. And it's kind of like them now <clears throat> seeing that. We've got the Ace of Swords, which talks about solution or idea. They, they let's kind of come to that, which is causing them to be a bit trapped in their head, a bit, confusion, uh, bit of confusion maybe there as well. But we've got that Queen of Swords there. That's in their intention. You know, it's recognizing that this is not going to be easy because they've come to some form of knowledge, just understanding about what it is that they want, where they're at in their life, ultimately. It's about where they're at in their life. I feel like this person has fallen themselves, fallen you, but not in the sense of them being deceitful. Maybe for some of them it is, but it's more about the immaturity, them not, because we've got that full card there. It's like this immaturity, this, this person is not able to process properly certain things. Yeah. So they've come to that awareness. Definitely come to that awareness. They have the, they see the bigger picture in terms of just what it is that they're wanting, where they are at in life, what they're ready for. You're just a bit more ready than, you know, this person is. And that's okay. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's like that and it's better, better you know. And again, it's like where this moves to, you surprise yourself. It's like, I feel like you surprise yourself just based on how you show up. So let's continue this in a full reading. Link is in the description bar below, guys. Um, and I shall see you guys in a bit.